Well, hello, my friends, and welcome to a Live Inspired Monday Moments with John O'Leary. I record these so that you may begin your week in awe and on fire with a dose of inspiration. So let's kick it off with a quote. Listen with curiosity. Speak with honesty. Act with integrity. The greatest problem with communication is we don't listen to understand. We listen to reply. When we listen with curiosity, we don't listen with the intent to reply. We listen for what's behind the words. That's from Roy Bennett. So here's the question, my friends. How do you respond to those who have differing views than yours? Let me say that again. How do you respond when someone has an opinion, whether it's on politics, whatever else it might be, that is different than yours? As conversations become more polarized and almost every topic broaches feels politically charged, how do you choose to listen Endeavor to understand, curiously question, strive to empathize, and move to authentically connect with someone whose views, whose beliefs, whose politics appear to be different than yours. As a society, we are choosing today to self-isolate, and this began long before a global pandemic. Most of us live near, worship with, or socialize among individuals who are similar to us. We tune in to our favorite news outlets, read from our favorite papers, and visit our favorite sites to learn about current events. Because the mainstream media unabashedly have claimed sides, their perspective just confirms and reiterates a belief system which we already possessed. And it happens story after story, article after article, and it happens day after day. Then... Because of the algorithms that serve us content on Google and social media, we get served commercials, content, and opinions that back up everything we already believed. Our perspective is reinforced. We become even more certain we're on the right side, that the other side is out of touch, that they're totally wrong, or that they're simply evil. So... It should come as no surprise when someone on social media has the audacity to form a differing opinion that we just simply choose to cancel them, right? But is it right? Is it right? My friends, we are in an era lacking dialogue, a willingness to truly understand or a desire that seeks to come together. Yes, relationships are messy. They're wildly difficult and complicated in a family, and they're exponentially more complicated in a family of 331 million people with differing origin stories, different experiences, and different dreams. As a nation, we are wrestling with the dichotomy of the remarkable greatness and the tragic mistakes of our past. We are trying to make sense of the extraordinary advances and the enduring injustices of our present. We are still imagining the limitless possibilities that remain achievable in our future. And yet, and yet, we must first listen. We gotta learn. We gotta come together. Let's seek out opinions that differ than those we tune into habitually. Let's build relationships with individuals whom we may disagree and listen to their perspective. We can ask clarifying questions before sharing our perspective. Let's remember that authentic love lets others be perfectly themselves and that em empowers us to not twist another person to fit our own image of perfect, but to instead meet them perfectly where they are as they are. In doing so, it's possible you'll radically change someone else's opinion on some of the most important important topics of the day. And it's even possible from time to time that the opinion changed will be yours. My friends, this is your day. Listen with curiosity. Speak with honesty. Act with integrity. This is your day. Live inspired. <laughs>